Welcome back, everyone, to Expeditions Viking, where in the last episode we finished checking out, uh, which quest was it? The Lost and Found. Now, at the end of the episode, I was commenting on the fact that, well, I can't, they keep giving me a, a reason to, to stay. Am I sure I want to do everything? And I, I went back and I checked. Now, someone in the comments mentioned that, oh, well, there was another hole that I hadn't gone down, but I can't see it. Even with the highlight on that shows me every interactable object, there doesn't appear to be an exit to this area. So I'm not entirely sure that that's true. But uh, if I have missed something, well, drat, basically, because there's no way for me to get back up. I've tried. So we're going to head back out of the cave and on with our quest. Now, we've got a couple of quests, one for Northumbria and one for the Gales. Uh, let's see, which one would we like to go for? The Gaelic Alliance or unsavory? No, uh, Tale of Two Kings. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we could track this one. It's probably going to require that we come down to Perth. I'm thinking. Sure. Yeah, we're going to sail to Perth. That's the nearest point for us. Ooh. During the day, the wind picks up and the waves turn larger. Your ship is overflowing with goods and riches, and having picked Avakin high with uh, packed Avakin high with all your wares, some of it is starting shuffling about as the song grows in strength. Oh no, Nephew, I'm worried about the cargo. The ship was not built to handle this kind of load. Uh, we'll spend thirty rope to secure the cargo. Before the storm gets too bad, you manage to get everything tied down securely, and you get through the rough sea without anything falling overboard. Uh, okay. Actually, how much valuable? We've got quite a lot of valuables. Mm, got an awful lot of lots of things, honestly. I really wouldn't mind buying some stuff, but only if I, if only I could get to Rebay. Doesn't seem that I can. Uh, okay, we'll head on down to Perth. We haven't got too much further to go. The waves are calm, and the Avakin is making slow progress. Suddenly, Roscova yelps, "I got one!" Oscar has been trailing a line lazily off the stern. Now she is braced against the stakes, with both feet fighting some enormous sea creature. I'm not letting you escape, you big bastard. Roscova, really. Roscova fights the fish for a long time, drawing cheers and encouragement from everyone. Eventually, Roscova goes too exhausted, and the line slips from her fingers, and the sea creature vanishes into the waves. Oh, no! Failure. <sighs> oh, wow. There are three of us injured right now. It's really not good. Really, really, really not good. Um, Ify, you can come along. Roskva. Roskva is only pleased. Uh, Nephia. Mm, let's take... Zlifir. And... We'll take Siren. Okay, let's go. Now, we've got ridiculous amounts of ways that we can sell for a fair old bit of coin. I'm not sure that we're going to stay, though. Perfectly honest, I think we might be heading out to the nearest camp so that I can actually treat these bloody wounds. Again, I'm a little bit silly now. Roscova's going to have her work cut out for her. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to get too bad that we lose anyone. I don't want to lose anyone. Even more can't. Ancient powers influence this place. Can you feel them in the soil? Rocking the trees? This site was chosen for a reason. And I love it all the more for that fact. Uh... Alright, let's have a look. Is there anything around to interact with that I have not interacted with previously? I don't think that it's likely to be, but we'll have a look about. Um, Merdin we can go and speak with if I really want to. I don't think I will, though. Uh, we may just go and have a quick quick chat. Well, let's see what your ways are. I'll give you a decent bargain, but you should know I reserve my best prize for loyal customers or friends of my people. Uh, disagreeable prices, so no, we're not going to trade with you. Thank you, though. Sorry if my section didn't please you, perhaps some other time. Indeed, farewell. Let's have a chat with you. Happy to see you again. Looking for meat, so height. Uh, who sells herbs? Um, let me take a look at your ways. Sure thing. Just so we're clear, though. Don't expect any discounts unless your reputation improves. Really? I've done so much. Scallywags. You have got a lot... Of height. Oof. That's not good enough. Really not good enough. Alright, some other time. Uh, yeah, some other time maybe. If your prices improve one day. But for now, 
My real goal is to leave the village. Uh, it would actually be easier to travel in this direction, I fancy. And get out there and do some questing. Also some healing. Oh my lord. We are so badly wounded. Ah, so many of us are wounded. Worst thing worse, Avak is one of them. Right, we need to find a camp. I also want to find a monastery to raid. If I have a choice. I would quite like that. Maybe we should go back and uh, hit you again. Possibly. Uh, where have we got to go? It's a long way away. Um, hmm. Could always hit this campsite. Bad shelter, very low food. Low food, good shelter. Very high food, normal shelter. And it's occupied, so we'd have a chance to have a bit of a scrap. We could always hit this monastery again. I don't know, though. We're almost certainly going to be coming back this way, so perhaps not. Um, I think we're going to take this campsite. And then we'll start heading onwards in that direction. Though That being said, me no, actually, crossing this wouldn't be the best. It would take us away rather than toward... And I don't see any easier way of getting there, no. We're going to have to go in this direction then. That's fine. We've got to heal up regardless. Everyone is starving. That is so not good. Uh, yes, let's enter the campsite. We're not going to find much food here to hunt, but that's fine. We should have enough rations to preserve us. Uh, to rather sustain us. We might have some meats to preserve, but hopefully we can take care of things. Right, you've got a moderate trauma in the chest, light infection in the head, and a severe puncture. All right then. Roskva, you are going to be very, very, very busy. First, treat Morkant. Then, treat Cat and Daughter. Then, finally, treat me. We'll see how this goes. We're going to have to have a few camps, I fear. It's not great, but it's also... There's also not much more we can do about it. Um... For herdmen, still have available shifts. Five meat will spoil. Well, we can't allow that to happen. Uh, please preserve. Uh, you're going to need one night to sleep. Uh, can I preserve at all? Yeah, I can, actually. Rather than resting. I'll help out with that. Uh, do we want to preserve? Zero to 55 with the hunting that we've got right now. Well... Got a lot of salvage. An awful, awful lot of salvage. I think we're going to break down the items that we just don't need. This one, at the very least, is going to be broken down. I don't want to break those down. That seems like a really dumb idea to me. Has anyone not got decent armor? I think everyone does. You two don't need it. How about helmets, then? In terms of helmets, got a decent helmet. What about mine? Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with having that. So we're going to break these down, all of them. There we go. Got a couple of hides from that. That's not too bad at all. What I could do with you helping out, can you get a little bit more hunting in? Yeah, potentially quite a lot of hunting, actually. All right. Now, what I would like from you, ooh, cat and daughter, can you not... Can you not craft? Oh. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. But you can preserve amazingly well. So get to task with that, please. Um, you can heal. Hmm. Actually, in that case... Sure, you take care there. And Roskova will heal you twice instead. This will actually be a much better use of your abilities. Yes. That would be a significantly better use of your, your abilities. Uh, okay, Roskva, if you could dedicate all of your efforts to Morkant. Morkant then can take care of Abak and Cat and Daughter. That works much, much better. One meat is still going to spoil this camp. And that is a shame. Has anyone got a spare turn to spend? Um, let's have you work on that. 
In fact, do we have enough meat to work on all of it? No, we can't preserve any further. Okay, well that's fine. The shelter isn't great, but uh, security is amazing. We've got a little bit shy on this. Uh, we need to move some people around for guarding, I think. Let's have a look at our guards. If I shifted your guard position there and had you sleep through this one? No. Ah, well, we're just going to do our best. Make camp. So it's hunting no meat. Uh, lots of no meat, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Well, everyone is now healthy. We increased 14 rations, lost 16 meat, and used up 37 medicine. But everyone is okay now. The question is, is everyone well rested? Four hours of sleep. Whilst that is easily enough for me... Mm, my herd are a different matter entirely. Well, 29 wood isn't too bad. I don't know about that wood. Mm. I could go around, or we could just start making our way in this direction. I think that's probably wise. Okay, we've got a camp over there. High food, bad shelter, very high security. Okay, let's spend the night there. This episode is probably going to be largely us making our way down there, but... On the plus side, we will be able to make some new equipment, maybe even a new amazing bow. I would be very, very happy with that. Uh, you're a better preserver than you are a hunter, so go ahead and take care of that. Uh, you can do a little bit of hunting later on, though. Um, you are by far a better preserver. Oh, actually, no, you're the, you're the same. Okay, well, you can do a little bit of hunting then. Maybe you'll... Get a little bit more. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, you will not become rested. Very well. Uh, let's see. You can help out with some more hunting. And, at this point, some crafting. Now, what do we want to make? That is the question. Who has decent equipment? And a bow have you got? You've got a lucky elm bow. That's a decent weapon. You've got a good spear. I think largely everyone's got good of it, good at everything. Um, hmm. You've got a pretty nice spear, honestly. What about your bow? 42 to 46. Okay. I've got a nice sword. Good knife. Hmm. You've got a Decent weapon there. Maybe a, a new bow would be useful. We'll have a look. Let's let's have a quick quick peek at what you could make. So crafting. Either that, or can I make any kind of ward or anything like that? No. Only traps. Um, that being said, I could make some extra water. That might be useful. Let's have a look at weapons first. First and foremost, let's have a look at bows. So we could put everything into damage, and then crafting this is above the level. Ah, okay. So crafting that is a bit more than you can possibly do. Okay, well, 42 to 46, yeah, pretty much the same type of weapon. I think we might just need to wait until we've got better options. We can have a look at the knives, though, perhaps. And... Be a decent knife. 10, 1.6, 5, and 10. Hmm. I'll only take 28 salvage, too. Let me have a quick look at um, Roskva's knife. 7 to 12, 7 AP, 1.5 crit. Yours is 7 to 12, 6 AP, 1.5 crit. And your sword is 16 to 23, 12 AP, 1.25 crit. Let's have a quick look at what you can make. So in terms of the knife, if we pull you down, that is a much better weapon, all things considered. High critical multiplier, but I would prefer having the maximum armor penetration on it. Hmm. Yeah, okay, make one of those for me. And then... Promptly make... Let's have a look at your swords. A sword with ext 
extremely good armor piercing. I get 1.25 armor. Mm, no, I think that's 33 to 39 is largely what we've got, I believe. Oh, no, no. Not even close. What about you? Hmm. Might be worth it then for the upgrade. Yes, okay. And what about your axe? This is 19 to 26. I mean, we've got a lot of options here. Have a look at an axe. That is a significantly more powerful weapon. But I would prefer a sword. As Leafier needs needs a bit of a bit of an upgrade, I think. There we are. Actually, perhaps even go for the higher crit. Yeah, okay, we'll get that sword made as well. And that should be all we're gonna be able to do for now. Uh Mokant, can you do a little bit of hunting for us? Actually, could you do a little bit of guarding? Just to bring that up. In fact, you can rest here and do a little bit more guarding right there. That should help out. Uh, and Roskova, if you could just take care of witchcraft and converting uh, herbs into medicine. Oh, we've got so many. Okay, I think that's going to be a good night. We're going to end up with some pretty solid stuff there. Okay, yep, let's go. As the sun sets, Edith rolls a small barrel of mead into camp. Anyone up for a drink? Or ten? Ah, oh, I like Edith. Gunnar grabs the mead from Edith's hands, takes a large swig and wipes his mouth with a sleeve before handing it back. Best idea I've heard all week. What say you, Havoc? Let's turn this into a feast. Um... Let's do it. Everyone get your fill. With a great cheer, everyone dips into the drink. A few extra pieces of meat are also thrown into a pot and cooked over a roaring fire. Long into the night, the meat still flows, and laughter and shouts fill the air. Your herdmen go about their tasks with a content smile and a sway in their step. One by one, everyone falls into a drunken slumber, keeling over where they sit. That's fine. I think we're all, we're all good there. Uh, 46 meat. Wow. Nine medicine. We increased our rations by zero because we ate the same amount. We used up 60 salvage. We lost nine herbs, but, you know, that's fine. A sundering heavy broad siax and biting pattern welded broadsword. Oh, those sound good. Let's have a look. Also, hopefully we've got plenty of scouting done. And whilst we're waiting, I'll take a sip. Oh, not actually that much, but let's go and have a look at these awesome new weapons. Roskva, you get the choice on the knife. And it's better in every single way. Okay, the sundering heavy uh, broad siax and... Even heavier, longer and thicker version of the already quite heavy, long and thick CX. Plus 10 damage versus shields. Okay. Nice. There we are. Um, that, I mean, that was plus 10% damage against flanked enemies, but this does a lot of damage. And, as Leafier, you get the choice on swords. You get a little bit more crit with this, but a lot more damage. Um, plus 10% crit multiply. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's why then. Okay. That is that is a massive upgrade, actually. There you go. All right, as for me, if I swap these weapons around so I can make a straight comparison, is that better? Yes, actually it is. Uh, plus two critical chance. This is still better. It's got better armor piercing. So there we are. And oh, let me pop that there. All right, so life sucker versus male biter. That's worse. Quite convincingly worse. That's a shame. Alright, well, who else has any kind of dagger skill? You're more of a spears person. Anyone else got knife skill? Morkant. Morkant has knife skill. Alright, then you get the keen broad CX then. And your shield can move up there. And you can keep that for now. Uh, as for anyone else... Does anyone else have sword skill at all? Nope. I mean, this is this is knife. Sword is over there. You could have some sword skill if you wanted it. Maybe. You really are kind of focusing on axes. That 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 said though, having a sword as a secondary might be a good idea 
I wonder if you could have two... Oh, you could. So you could be sword and board, or two axes. Oh, I like this idea. I must confess, I'm liking it a lot. You could have sword and axe. Wow. That's particularly nice. Uh, 1926. Okay, that needs to be the primary. Okay, I'm pretty pretty happy with your upgrade there. Very, very happy, in fact. I think we're going to go with that. Sure. Okay. Uh, that's a fairly good upgrade, I would say. We've got a couple of things then I can break down. Well, at least break that one down. Uh, in terms of armor, no armor to break down. I think the next camp we are going to spend a little bit of time... Oh, plus one water skin. Uh, getting things like water skins and, and the like. All right, we've got to start making our way down here. This is our destination. So let's be off. It's good old way, though. Ah, good. There is somewhere along the way. Because I would like to stop off before we get too much further. And having a nice sleep here would be a good idea, I think. Okay. Let's park our bums. Possibly not too far away from the corpses that we're going to have to clear out of this area. Uh, quite, quite sad, that one. But, um... Right... I'm going to take Kettle with us. We're going to have this leaf here and Edis, actually. Yeah, I think uh, having this, this group, we've got a couple of tanks and a lot of range. So we're basically going in artillery style. We're hoping to take people out from afar whilst having our shield bearers block attacks. Oh dear, what are we fighting? Oh, I thought we might have been fighting against uh, <laughs> against wolves. That would not have gone so well. Uh, this is not going to be too hard of a fight, I think. Have you got a healer? Yes, you have. Good, good, good. And by good, I mean they're going to die very quickly. Uh, right. Can we get you into a position from whence you're going to be going to have a decent chance to block? We probably can. If I could charge you in. At the very least, let's get you up there. We're going to keep your shield out. I could get you right in there. And let's leave here. Oh, you're quite far back, mind. It's going to be a tricky one. I think I'm going to have you head up in this direction, ready to uh, engage as well. I could even pull them down to us there. That might be worthwhile. I could draw their archer out. Hmm. What's your mental resistance? Mental resistance 45, 26, 14, 24, 17. It would definitely be these guys, but I really, really would like to try and get you down here. So come along then. Let's see if this works. I think it may have worked. Ah, it's perfect. I'm all the way down. Not quite next to us, but it's good enough. Right. Um, move on in. They're now forced to stand up. Which means that we're going to have a good shot on them, potentially. Let's swap out to my actual bow here. We could take them down. I would love to take you out if I could. Don't want to shoot at you because you've got a, a shield. Got no chance of hitting you. If we went for an aimed shot, 95% chance. Hmm. Go for it. Let's take out their oh, healer. Shit, was that as painful as it looked? Wow, I think it was. Actually, I'm slightly regretting my decision not to have you uh, pull out your... Uh, go for a, a poisoned attack. <laughs> Damn it, that would have been glorious. Um... Ify, can we go for a flame attack? We probably can, actually. Not against you, though. Uh, not against you. You've got a good chance of hitting this one, though. Uh, sure, go for it. Hopefully, set them on fire. No! Uh, Ify, why have you let me down so much? Okay, let's get you into cover, then, at least. As for me... I can't go for flame attacks, unfortunately. Quite sad, that one, but... 
I can hit you with a good chance. Ask for... How about I draw someone else out? Yeah. Let's try and taunt someone. How about I draw... You out. Come on down here. They had quite a low mental resistance, so best target for us. Let's ride, get an opportunity to attack. Good. Perfect. Then straight past. There's Leaf here as well. You there we go. Life, my name. Uh, it's going to be a very short-lived memory, but well done. I approve of that hit quite a lot. Okay, so I am now up. We could possibly take out both of these. Let's drop a ranging shot right there. There you go. Now we're going to go for a quick attack. 60%. 65. We'll go for the 65 first. Nice work. Ooh, we need to get a second one. But they're going to have to use tactical withdrawal here. Let's try for you. Very nice. Okay, as Leafer is back in cover now, which is grand. Uh, you're in a good spot, but actually I kind of prefer you to be down here where it's going to be much harder for enemies to flank you easily. You can't quite get out there. I want to keep you there, though, so that it forces them to have to deal with you on the next turn. Um, actually, I'm going to draw you down. This way you've got a bit of a better shot out there. Okay, that's good enough for me. That's fine. Oh, damn. Exposed. It's a bit of a problem. Ooh. Protecting, and you got sacraments as well. You didn't heal yourself. That's impressive, actually. Tactical move, though, as expected. Alright. Well, you've got a non-shot there. You've got a shot there. You haven't got a shot over there. Hey, Fee. Not got a shot, but... Hmm. Could drop this here. Get both of you shown. There we are. So you're no longer in any kind of cover. Uh, quick shot on you. We've got a very high chance of being able to do this. But, like, no chance of taking you out as a result. If we could take you down with archery... That would free up uh, Edis to get in there and hook that shield out of the way. Oh, that was not what I wanted to see. Well, yeah, you did your best, I suppose. Um, don't want you to be hiding over there. Let's get a ranging shot down. There we are. Now, if I go for an aimed shot, 95% chance to hit. You are going to die from this. So let's take you out of the equation. Very nice. Straight through the neck. Right. Let's leave here. I could have you get up there. Get involved. I would like to move you. Let's go for a charge if we can. I'd really like you to charge in a different direction, if I'm perfectly honest. Mm. Alright, just get in there. Take this one on. He hasn't got a shield. Nice work. Edis, can you deal some damage here? Switch. Yeah, you'll take them out. Alternatively, I could do this and you'll still take them out. Protect it though. It's a bit of a problem. With that in mind. Okay, I'm going to try and taunt you out of the way. Mental resistance is very high though. A bit too high, honestly. Um, you don't have taunt anyway, to be honest. Okay. Have I got a shot on either of you? I do have a shot on you. If I just go for a straight shot, I'll have a chance. 65, 
is high enough, actually, to go for the chance of two shots. I've got a better chance of hitting once with taking two 65s. There we go. But, uh, even though I've got a better chance of hitting once, I have also got a chance of hitting twice, so there's there's no reason not to, to use that particular uh, mode of attack. Now, I want to go up and around, so we've got you flanked if I can. Let's do that. Do I have charge? I do. But it'll take you straight in there, which is not what I want to do. So let's turn that off. Let's get... See, the problem is if I go two, I might not be able to get there. If I go there, I probably can. Yes, okay. Charge in and attack. Flanked. Okay, it was just a regular block. That's fine. Now then. Could go for the demoralize. I could start getting in close so I can properly attack here. Don't think we need to worry about the healer. I think they may well uh, focus on healing this turn. I don't know. Have we not got the ability for you to focus? Oh, we don't. Okay, I need to get you that. Alright. Uh, okay. To his favor. And with that, end turn. You can heal? No! Brave! Very brave. Well done on resisting the stun there. Very well done. Okay. Um, let's go for removing their shield, please. Take that out of this equation for me. Perfect. Go for the attack. You got them flanked. Very well done. I would like you to get in there and use a flurry attack action. It's fine. Let's get some bleeding going. Oh, wow. Very nice. That bleeding might actually take them out in the next turn. Cattle, have you got a shot? You do. Uh, well, we may as well just go for a, an aimed shot. This will take them out. And at this point... Very nearly tempted to have you just charge in there, but uh, honestly, you can just take them out with a regular shot. There we go. A little bit of skill from that. No wounds. I don't even think anyone got wounded. That, as in, they, they not downed, but they took no damage whatsoever. I do need to get you some more uh, items, though. Okay, no new injuries. Very, very nicely done, everyone. Very nicely done. I approve. Uh, we need to do an enormous amount of preserving. So much meat was gotten last time that we just don't have room for anything else. We need preserving so badly. Um, can you preserve? Yes, you can. Preserving at rank 4, in fact. So let's get on that right away. Um, more can't. You can't preserve. Well, that's just annoying. Um, if I can have you help out with the preserve... No, we need Kettle to do a little bit. Kettle is our best hunter, but... If you could do a little bit of hunting... Maybe a little bit more? Well, no. Okay. We'll have Kettle do that last bit. We're not going to get much meat from this, but we're not going to lose any either, which is the important part of that equation. Don't kill it unless you're going to eat it. And I think that should be good enough. Okay, make camp. Hunting brings loads of meat. Excellent. Most of the others have gone to bed, but Kettle is still sitting up at the fire in deep thought poking the embers with the head of an arrow. He looks up when he hears you and beckons you closer. Of course I'll sit down next to him. He's my childhood friend. Colbion wasn't my father. Wow, that that is a hell of a way to open a conversation, Cattle. There's a weirdly long pause. Then he laughs quietly at himself and brushes his strand of brown hair out of his eyes. Shit. This is going to be more awkward than I thought. I feel like I did something wrong. I'm called... Call Bjornson, because Colbjorn was the man who owned me when Bjorn found me. 
Me and my sister, yes. In the twenty summers you've known Kettle, you've never heard any of his sister. It appears this is to be a night of great revelations. My sister was called Sefa. It means calm, gentle. I don't remember her so well. I wasn't that old when we parted, but you know that. I don't remember who my real parents were or how Sefa and I got enthralled. My earliest memories are of Colbion's farm, helping with the food, working in the fields. I didn't realise the kettle was a thrall. Kettle shakes his head, tired. This was a stupid idea. Some things are best left unsaid. Um... I... I feel that Kettle... Kettle will... If I give him the option, even though it seems that this is something he needs to do, otherwise he wouldn't have started doing it, he'll shy from it. And it might eat at him. I'm not going to pressure him. I'll request it. I'm not going to demand it. But I will... I will give him a nudge, because I think in this situation he seems like he needs a nudge. Finish the story, please. Yes. Your father came to the farm with his ship. I remember Grimulfer was there, and Holman, and some of the other men. If you remember correctly, the journey from which your father brought Kettle home was north of Adge, uh, sorry, Agda, and then up the coast of Rog Rogaland. That would put his farm on the west coast of the Northlands? Colbion had been treating us worse and worse. I remember he was going through some trouble. Grown-up stuff. Too nuanced for an eight-year-old to understand. The emotion evaporates out of Kettle's voice, and he continues dispassionately, as though describing events that were relayed to him by someone else. I made some silly mistake, dropped something, and Colbion flew into a rage. I think he was really scared of your father, but he took it out on me. He just hit me and hit me. Then Sefa jumped on him, tried to pull me off, and he picked her up and threw her back. Hard. I didn't really see what happened after that. I had blood and snot and tears in my eyes. There was a lot of commotion, then it got really quiet. Bjorn pulled me up, very gently. They led me out the back door, trying to prevent me from seeing Sefa dead on the ground and Cole Bjorn with his bowels hanging out. Hmm. <laughs> That's not the way you did <laughs> Lord, That's horrible. I'm sorry you went through such a thing. Me too. Mostly I'm sorry Sefa didn't make it. Hmm. Why did my father bring you with him? He obviously felt responsible for me. Corbion's wife was long gone, so Bjorn brought me back with him. Uh, brought me with him back to Skjern. And Manny took me in. Do you really not remember anything about your parents? He struggles to find the right phrasing. Just a hint of a feeling, sometimes. When the wind carries a certain smell, it's difficult to pin down. I have something, though, to remember them by. Kettle fishes around in his backpack and produces a delicate medallion of gilded silver in the shape of an incomplete circle. At either of its ends is a sort of four-leaf clover with a dark red glass bead at the centre. You think you've seen it before, but you never attributed it to any particular meaning. Holman took it off Sefa's body before we left. This looks Pictish, doesn't it? Is that why he could speak the language, though he didn't know why? While he could speak uh, the language south of here? I've been thinking that exact same thing ever since we got here. Do you think this means... I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Maybe we should show this to the people of Perth. See if it rustles any feathers. I'm not going to say, are you excited? Honestly, this is the sort of question where one might ask the question on autopilot because the path they're on leads to the question, but without giving any thought to whether they actually want the answer or not. Are you sure you want to know, Cattle? No. But I think I have to know, if that makes sense. It does. And that answer is enough for me. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I honestly thought that this episode might be a little bit lacking of content, uh, to be perfectly honest. But that was pretty heavy. 
I'm glad the cattle trusts me enough to to share his thoughts on this with me. We gained 38 rations. That's actually really good. And uh, converted nine herbs to medicine. And yeah, that's that's really good. But wow. Okay. That is pretty heavy. But I'm glad that I'm going to be able to do something to help cattle. Hopefully. I mean, I can't be certain of this, but... So, let's have a quick look at this. Buried past. Search Perth for someone who might recognize Sepha's necklace. Well, once we're finished with this quest, which I'm afraid we're going to have to finish in the next episode, we will swing on back up through these two scouted areas, hit this campsite, and perhaps a couple of the other camps campsites on the way back to Perth. It seems that it is quite a lot still for us to do in the north. This is very, very interesting indeed. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. As always, my deepest gratitude to the patrons who make this series possible. I hope you're enjoying this especially, and I will see you in the next. But until then, do take care, everyone.